Welcome to the ninth tutorial on the Colcast 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at positioning a sprite you can, you, you can use it as position any sort of item but we'll be using a sprite using the Bezier 2 in the previous tutorial we looked at the Bezier by which allowed you to position a sprite along the curve, move it along the curve um, but that was relative to the starting position and the curve was always the same whereas the Bezier 2, the curve may be different but the end position will always be the same for example, very similar to the move to and the jump to. We'll be using the code from tutorial 3 and there'll be a link in the description to that source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced in this tutorial. So let's just open up the Xcode project from tutorial 3. Once it's opened we want to go to the myapp.js. Below where we've added sprite we want to create a variable called Bezier. In here, we'll store the actual coordinates of the curve point one, curve point two, and the end point as well. Do cc.p open bracket, we'll put zero, comma, side dot height, divide by two, close bracket, comma, cc.p open bracket 100, comma, minus size dot height, divide by two close bracket comma cc dot p open bracket 100 comma 100 close bracket semicolon let's just sort out the formatting now we need to actually create an action for this these coordinates so we're going to do var sprite underscore action equals cc dot bezier to dot create open bracket first we put the duration of the animation we're going to put three seconds comma now we put the coordinate variable zero close bracket semicolon let's just sort out the positioning now we just need to do this dot my sprite dot run action open bracket sprite action close bracket semicolon now we should just run it in the simulator and you'll see a curve Here we go. There you go. You saw the actual sprite move along the curve. It started in the middle, which is roughly around about here, and then you did a curve similar to this. You can obviously change the endpoint and the curve one and two points to suit your needs. Perhaps you want a game very similar to Angry Birds or Flight Control or something like that. And this combined with some other methods such as the move by and the move to is very powerful. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at the place method, um, but that's for the next tutorial. Well, thanks for watching.